Yamaha Launch 2020 here in Germany at um, Tichenthal Circuit. The track today is obviously MXGP quality. Actually, yeah, today was a really good day to test the, the new Yamaha range. Um, when I say the new Yamaha range, uh, specifically mean the, the YZ450. It's all new for 2020. Yamaha concentrated their efforts last year on the 250F, and you know Yamaha have uh, concentrated and uh, give all their love to the to the. 450 this year and it's one of those bikes that you ride now and it's, it's balanced and um, you know Yamaha have always struggled in the, in the past with uh, with a bit of a front end push and, and losing and, and struggle maybe to to get the bike to maneuver or to turn and all these little small changes that are happening at Yamaha are really really benefiting um, the consumer and uh, the the factory teams you know they're really they're basically passing down the information that that they're collecting throughout the year and and it seems that now Yamaha are basically are acting upon that and that's why we've you know it's been two years and, and we've already got a new 450. Um, what's new on the 450 the list is endless but I'll just tell you some of the things that mainly that they've concentrated on some of the things that I felt today on the 450 was was basically they've got a new frame um, it's got more flex the suspension's been revised, so it's all a little bit stiffer now. The front forks are, are, are stiffer and they have to be stiffer because of the frame and the way that the frame flexes and, and that really does allow you to select better lines. And you know, it's what it, the bike's flickable. It really is a bike that you can maneuver around the track and it does feel so light in the air. And you know, in the past, they've maybe had a, a little bit of criticism of uh, having a bike which is basically has got too much too much aggression or too much punch. And, and that's certainly not the case now. The bike's so drivable and everything's working in harmony, the engine, the chassis and suspension. Everybody's focusing on um, mass centralization and uh, the cams have been lowered, the cam profile's been changed, the cylinder head's been changed, it's smaller, everything's a little bit more compact. The bike is fast, it does make a lot of horsepower and uh, you certainly do feel that on the track, And but that's what a 450 should do, but it's usable power, it's friendly power, it's, it's power that will suit most, you know, from club rider to pro rider, you know. forward thinking of Yamaha is, is basically to compact that and, and, and give good centralization and uh, a good feel out on track when you're riding and you know and you, you can feel that. Yamaha now have obviously they've revised their suspension so one of the things that uh, that, I, that I picked up on today was the fact that they're not running like the, 100 and, the 105 or 110 mil rear sag anymore. Recommended rider sag now is 95 and um, for me personally I just felt that that was a little bit jacked up today and so you know I went for 100 I felt a bit more comfortable on that felt that the bike was a little bit more planted it didn't push the weight up onto the front. So today the bikes, they were, they were wound in, you know, it was like 0.5 on the high speed. So I wound it back out and made it one, which is standard settings, which will come to you. Also as well, um, on the front forks, front forks I'd firmed up and um, basically went from like 12 clicks to eight clicks on the compression and also as well speeded up the rebound, which, which I quite liked and it basically helped the bike um, just feel a little bit more settled when you come into the turns and hit those, hit those little sharp bumps. But for me, all in all, the bike's a winner. Day was brilliant, and I'm really looking forward to the, the, the feedback, or just basically to um, to see where Yamaha are going to, you know, where they're going to keep pushing and um, and where they're going to progress to in the next few years. Because uh, it just seems that they are on this development train, and it's nice to see as a as a rider. And um, yeah, I can't I can't wait to to get some feedback from, from the, the guys in the UK as well and see what they you know what they think of the bike but for me it's a thumbs up.